I'm standing here in the Zocala of Puebla, Mexico, and there's so much rhythm here, so many cathedrals. We are at Cinco de Mayo Street, and we are looking at the front of the Santo Domingo Church. It used to be a convent. The Rosary Chapel, you will see all is, all is gold leaf. All represents, and this inside, only the part to belongs to the Our Lady, Our Lady of the Rosary. But here is in the Church of Santo Domingo. For example, you can see the balls has the faith, charity, and hope. This represents the life of the Virgin. We have several altars. They are carving woods. The, the main altar is Baroque style. Also on the right side, we have a Churrigueresco style. It's the, the Churrigueresco came from, it, from Spain and the Baroque, the other one comes from Italy. Comes to Mexico, but we, are, we have our own Baroque. The Rosary Chapel had so much gold leafing that I had to wear sunglasses. It's a must see when visiting Puebla. This lady was the richest lady here in Mexico because the sailors from the Gulf and the Pacific Ocean, they used to bring gold and pearls to this virgin. Puebla is a walking city of discovery. No matter where I turn, there was always a surprise. Freya tamales en la manteca y gorditas de masa y loncillo y canela. We are the mansion of the Velasco House. The owner lives in Mexico, but this building starts from the 17th, 17th century. A beautiful mansion. The patio, the arcade. The courtyard is the center of the building, and the rooms surround the courtyard. Estas cosas hermosas, porque así yo las vi, ya no están en mi tierra. This house, there's the French parlor at the English parlor. So they have the smoking room also to hear the organ. It's very important, this part of the house. The elaborate French room is the family's favorite. I had a very special treat of visiting the private Velasco mansion. 
The mansion had been in the family for several generations. I met the daughter and two aunts as I was exiting their home. There are so many markets to drop your last dime where you can find an array of gifts and remembrances of your experiences in this great city of Puebla. Now this is a typical restaurant with local cuisine. There are so many colonial buildings, such a great architectural find. Puebla is a very important uh, city with his gastronomy. The nuns, the, the campus, they invent the mole poblano. I, my name is Esteban Peregrina. I'm the general manager of the Hotel NH Puebla, a beautiful modern hotel located in the historic zone of the city of Puebla. The city of Puebla is a wonderful historic city with an age of 476 years. We gotta speak English because we have a lot of people who comes from another parts of the world. And visit the museums, churches, the chapels that we have around since we're located three blocks from the Zócalo. This is an aerial view of the NH Hotel lobby. Right there, we had the volcano. The volcano is called Popocatépetl. And we have the other one, it's Iztaccíhuatl. At NH Hotel Puebla, you can enjoy the best view of the city from our terrace, from our pool area. I'm taking you on a tour of my room in the NH Puebla Hotel. Dining in the NH Hotel restaurant was a real treat with lots of Mexican cuisine. Our hotel is located in the center of the city of Puebla, Centro Historico, we call it. And we are only two hours away from Mexico City. This is Puebla. It's the fourth largest city in all of Mexico. It's a very special colonial town, and it's been declared by UNESCO as one of its treasures. Behind me is one of the most incredible churches which is called the San Francisco Church, and the outside has these Talavera tiles, and it's extraordinary. It's the most beautiful of all the churches, and there are so many churches here in Mexico. They have to take two kinds of clay, mm -hmm. and they mix it. Mm -hmm. And it has to be very soft, and they start working with the plates and jars and, and glasses. That's a, it's a beautiful work. I visited a factory where they were making ceramics. It was an extraordinary experience. Colorful ceramics. Did you know that Puebla is known for its Talavera tiles? Extraordinary colorful ceramics made my mouth water and emptied my pockets. <laughs> there were so many designs and choices. <laughs> 